y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. Today, I'm actually going to show you around the house. I know this is simple or whatever, but I have put up my Christmas decorations. I've been really busy. I hope and pray to have a video uh, for y'all tomorrow. I've been, uh, Chris is in Florida, and so I've taken a couple of days off. It's been really nice. Yesterday, I shopped all day. Today, I will be going to my mama's and visiting her. Um, I'm actually going to take um, the video to my, my mother's today. If you do not typically watch Real Southern Woman, which is another um, page that I have that's more of my personal information, y'all sign up for Real Southern Woman. It's, it's, it's public, so you don't really have to sign up for it. But if you want to be part of my personal page and see my mom's place, I'm going to decorate her place today, then just go to Real Southern Woman. It is on Facebook. Just type that in and be a part of that and see my life at home. Um, I do a few Bible studies. Um, and and then if I go if I go anywhere or do anything fun that doesn't have anything to do with cooking, then it's always on that page. I hope to start putting a little more on that page. I've been kind of slacking lately. But right now, I'm going to show y'all um, just around the house. I'm going to show you my Christmas tree and some of the decorations that I have that were my mother's. And, um, and then later today, like I said, in a couple of hours, I will be at Mama's. Um, Amy says she can't see me. I'm not sure what she's talking about. I, I hope this is coming through. My Wi-Fi is not working very good today. But anyway, I'm going to walk around the house and show y'all um, a couple of things, okay? Hey, Adrian, Amy, and Taffy is here. Uh, and Kathy says good morning. So let's start looking around, okay? Uh, and I, I mean, I don't spend a lot of money. I have simple things. Um, but I love what I do have, okay? So I'm going to switch the camera around and show y'all a few things. Okay, this is our piano that the girls play. And um, on top of the piano are Santas. These were my mother's because I just never bought a lot of stuff. So that's one of Mama's Santas. This is a Santa that Mama... Um, had that moves i like him and he just quietly moves his hands and his little head and he has um a light that he holds that stays lit up and i just keep it plugged in all christmas this thing is old as the hill some of you may actually have one it has lasted forever these are mama's santas that one's kind of a pink santa that is a christmas picture of me uh, back in 2009, right before I was diagnosed with cancer. I love that picture because it was me before I got the bad news. And those of you who've ever gotten bad news know how much it changes you. This is a, a, a stick Santa. My daughter thinks it's so ugly, but I like it because it was Mama's. And then this is a large Santa that Mama had. Um, I didn't keep all of Mama's Santas, but some of them I did. This is a picture of my girls when they were little, and I always hang it up at Christmas. Aren't they cute? Now, these are snowmen that my mother had, and they're really nice. Uh, this one don't have a base anymore, but um, I, I think they're beautiful, so of course I kept them. Now, these are snowmen, actually, that my mother-in-law bought me one year for Christmas, and I've always taken good care of them. I actually wrap them. I actually put them inside stockings. And that's how I keep their little noses from breaking. This is a, a, a snowman set. And yeah, that I got from the dollar store for like four or five bucks. Some of y'all may actually have that. It probably came from Dollar General. And these are nutcrackers that my mother had. So I kept them as well. So all of this is on my mantle. All right, and then this is our Christmas tree. Um, I put, I bought these stockings this year. I've always wanted pretty stockings with our names on them. 
or initials and I've never bit the bullet and done it and Kohl's had them on sale so I got a mister for Chris he's the man and I got a Misery's and y'all are not gonna believe this but when I got this home I realized it was the last one they had it's upside down and you know what I'm upside down most of the time so I'm gonna keep it because that suits my personality this is May's I got an M for May and an A for Amy so um, this is our tree this year last year we actually bought a tree it's the first I've only had two Christmas trees that were brand new in 18 years I'm gonna go back all the way up so you can see how tall it is that's how tall it is it is a seven foot tree okay because that header at the top of the tree is six eight so you can tell it's a seven foot tree now um, I bought a tree at Sam's Club when we were first married for $99 that was a pencil tree and and I have bought stuff like from yard sales and things like that until last year we went and bought a new tree so I just love it um, it has got the the embossed I, I don't know what you call this but it's got the little um, leaves on it that have the snow on them and 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 everywhere there's one of these there's also a pine cone and if I was real picky, I would turn all of these so that you could see them upright. But I just love this tree. I got it at, um, I believe we got this one at Home Depot. And uh, Mama had some beautiful glass ornaments. And um, I kept those, and I hang them on the tree every year. And let me show you another one. Um, most of my decorations came from Mama. I don't normally spend money on stuff. But look how beautiful these glass balls are. They're just gorgeous. And I wish I could show y'all. That was Mama's. Everything I got just about was Mama's. This is an ornament um, that has candy on it. So I like it. And a lot of the ornaments, this was Mama's, of course. But a lot of the ornaments are ornaments. We exchange ornaments in my family instead of buying gifts because it's a lot cheaper. And so a lot of the ornaments are ornaments that my sister or sister-in-laws have gotten me uh, or our family for the year. Um, let's see what else is on here that's interesting. This is an ornament I got at um, a thrift store. And it is actually like a Linux or something, you know, real expensive ornament. Isn't it pretty? The Mary and the baby Jesus. And I don't think, let's see, the only other cool thing I got on here that I might turn it around and show y'all. Sorry, I'm just walking around. But I'm going I'm to turn it because this tree actually rotates. Well, it won't rotate, but it actually turns on its base. And so I could decorate one side of the tree with my stuff and one side. And so I put a few of my older ornaments on the back, the ornaments that I like. I got these at a thrift store. They're sewn they're old-fashioned I love them I think they're beautiful and um, this is an antique ornament that I got at an antique store let me show you what it does so I always hang her on the back of the tree every year she's a cat and she has a pull bar and you can pull the little bar and her little feet and tail goes up isn't that the cutest I just love it um, that was one of Mama's angels, and I love birds. Birds are one of my favorite things on the earth, and so I have lots of birds on my tree. And let's see, this was Mama's. There's so many things I have that was Mama's. This was Mama's. Mama had all this beautiful stuff. So when we uh, got her stuff, Amy started putting her stuff on the tree. This is a little squirrel. Mama loved elephants. She collected elephants, so... That was one of Mama's, too. But that is my tree kind of in a nutshell. I'm not going to show y'all every little ornament. Let me show y'all in the dining room today what's going on. This is my dining room table. <laughs> These are my Volume 1 cookbooks. I just love this new company and the new cookbook. It is so nice, y'all. But this is the Volume 1 Revised Cookbook. And I sign them. When you place your order, you'll get a signed book. 
And I just love that in the back is a picture of my mother, who we're going to see today, right here. Um, when we get to her room, she, of course, won't have her makeup on and be all dolled up like this. So she'll look a lot different. But that's my mother years ago before uh, she was, you know, before her dementia got bad. This is her mother, Maggie Howard. And then this is my dad's mother, um, Lucille Benefield. And they're in the back of my cookbook now. And that wasn't in there before. So uh, this is the volume one. And then I'm with, these are the volume twos over here. And on the volume twos, me and Chris both signed these. And um, and the pictures of my, my mother in the back in this one except. And these have a really nice index. I took a lot of time out and did a really nice index, y'all. So... If you get these books, they got a lot better index than before. It's just that I do my own publishing. In other words, I create um, all the pages we do here at home. And so doing an index is really hard, even if you're using Word. But they're black and white in this one. But anyway, so this is my dining room. This um, right now is a shipping room but this is a turntable mama had that's in the shape of a poinsettia I think it's really pretty and then we'll go over here and let me show you some of my stuff these are those glass ornaments I was telling you about that mama had and um, see how pretty they are so I, I hung them in a bunch there um, on this this was mama one of mama's Santa's and this was mama's cake plate y'all are not gonna believe what I did I got this out this year. There were four cups and I broke one. I was so upset that I broke one. So now all I have is three. But that's my mom's uh, cake plate. Isn't it pretty? And it has a little server with it. And then this is my china. And mama bought me this years ago. And it is Santa reading his list. And it is my uh, china pattern. Um, you can see the old country roses is what that is. Royal Albert old country roses. And then that's just a little um, candle holder. All right. These things were my mother's. This is uh, somebody kissing in front of the fireplace with their presents to exchange. And this is Santa in a fireplace with a chair. Those things were mama's as well. Everything I got's mama's. Chris don't like me to spend money on stuff. And then these, of course, are the other balls. These are my girls when they're young at Christmas time. My little babies. And these are when they got a little bit older and we went to my brother's for Christmas. And their oldest, my oldest niece put makeup on all three of them. And they were in heaven that day. So I like to show that because they got to wear their makeup. They were too young for makeup, but they were playing and having fun. And so um, this is something that mama had. I don't know if y'all can see this because of the light. Let me close this. I've got my rosemary in here. This is a snowman uh, set of dishes that I got from Dollar General, y'all, and we still use these every year. Uh, I've got two sets of them, and uh, they're cheap as dirt, but I, I just love them. They're cute, and it keeps me from going and spending money on other dishes. This is the baby Jesus, the star of the show for Christmas. There he is, and um, and that's that scene. Marcia um, my cookbook prices are at the top. The links and the prices are at the top of every post on my pages, whether they're Facebook or uh, YouTube. There's a cookie jar that was Mama's, actually. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, y'all seen the uh, apron that I got at Aldi. If y'all have an Aldi nearby, they had the mittens and the apron that matches and it was really cheap. I want to say it was about $7.99. So if y'all got an Aldi around, go get you one uh, because that's a great, great price. In the kitchen, I don't do a whole lot of decorations. Um, there's a Santa in here that has the Days of Christmas countdown that was Mama's. And then there is uh, placemats in here that were Mama's. Everything I had was my mother's. Um, and then 
there's some, I found these last year. I thought they were really pretty. And I'm trying to, th they don't have them this year, though. Um, I can't remember the name of the store. Anyway, I'll think of it and post it. But they don't have them, like I said, anymore. And I think this is really cute because he's my little cooking. He's my little cooking decoration. So I hung him up in the window of the kitchen. Isn't he cute? And that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, oh, one more thing. This is May. When she was a little bitty thing, isn't she a doll? And that little outfit she's got on is a Christmas onesie. And I got it at a thrift store back years ago. And I was just a young lady when I had her. And these are my girls when they got a little bit older in front of a tree. And then let's see what else I got. This is Chris's mother and dad with the kids one Christmas. There's May that same day. This is my nephew, Will. Isn't he a doll? That's Chris's sister and the girls. And then on the bottom, I have me and my sister. We went to the mall one year for Christmas, and they had a little uh, train ride, and we rode on the train with the kids. Do you see my sister right there, how different we look? She's dark-headed, dark-complected. She and I are total opposites. Um, I hope y'all have had fun looking around the house. Um, and like I said, most everything I got is mama's. Mama would love to shop. Mama was a big shopper. So she loves it when I go out and get her things. I cannot wait to get there today. Um, I'm going to run by Ross and try to buy a cute little dress that looks kind of like Mrs. Claus. And I'm going to go in and decorate her room today. I hope y'all join us. It will be on Real Southern Woman, not on Color Valley Cooks. I came on here just so that y'all wouldn't miss out and y'all would know where to go. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks. And hopefully I will get you something to watch tomorrow that's cooking. I will be finished with my decorations and shopping. And I'll be ready to spend some time with y'all. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye. I can send the cookbooks to Australia if you'll send me your information. Um, uh, send me your information, like your address on a message. Let me put it in my computer and see how much the shipping is. And once I find out what the postage would be, you could pay through PayPal link. Okay. And that is going out to Adrienne. Anybody that's in Canada, Australia, anywhere else, you can do the same thing if you want a cookbook. Um, bye y'all, love ya.